Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Right, today, a special little episode for you guys. I'm going to be trying something different. Um, everybody's going on this carnival diet, keto diet, low carb diet. I'm trying to go on a low carb diet as well. My weight is always yo-yoing. So I thought, you know what, let me try uh, this uh, low carb diet for a week and I'm going to try to document a few of my recipes. Now, steak is a bit boring uh, on the carnival diet. However, I want to do something a bit different. This is a delicious steak. Check this out. Look at that. The fat. Nice T-bone steak. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Now this is about 920 grams. Now, this for one person is huge. Um, so if you have this, I don't think you'll need to eat anything more. So what I'm going to try to do is, I'm gonna cook this, sear it, then put it into a pressure cooker and soften it up so it just becomes nice and soft meat. Uh, and sort of, and then I'm gonna add, uh, I'm gonna, uh, 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 on the pressure cooker, I'm gonna add an onion and a tomato and make a little base gravy style. So I'm gonna use my restaurant technique to try and just, um, just, make it a bit different, a bit more flavorful than what you're used to, just, you know, garlic and butter. And um, I thought, you know what, let me try my own take on it. So today is gonna to be a lovely uh, carnival inspired uh, T-bone steak uh, recipe. Right, my amazing home chefs. So this is the steak, which is about 920 gram just less than one kg and we're going to be using a tomato and an onion to make an onion gravy ginger and garlic and nice pickles to finish the meal and these are the spices and we're going to be cooking it in butter I'm going to try to use uh, healthy ingredients for all this cooking recipe look at that beautiful lovely steak lovely fresh beef and I'm going to sear it first, put it in a pressure cooker and finish it off into a lovely gravy. Now, if you like what I do, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos at Latif's Inspired. And it keeps me working hard to make you these amazing videos. Stay tuned. Now, Bismillah, let's start cooking. Put the gas on. Now, I'm going to sear the steak first. Got some lovely ghee. One to about three tablespoons of ghee. I'm using my mum's ancient wooden spoon. This has cooked many wonderful dishes. This is probably as old as me. Now the ghee's melted. I'm gonna add this amazing steak. Look at that, beautiful. Now is it gonna fit in the pan? So this is just under one kg, 920 grams. Bismillah. I don't want it to spit, so I just put the lid on. Just want to seal the meat before adding it to the pressure cooker. Looks wonderful. bit of a monster this. The reasoning for the extra spitting is because I actually washed the steak and I just I just get a bit uh, have a phobia so I need to make sure everything's washed properly and nice and clean. So now the spitting should stop. Wonderful look at that sear. Looks beautiful. You can just add salt and pepper and just eat that. Let all that fat render up. Looks gorgeous. My steak's been cooking for a few minutes. Let's have a look. Yep, it's coming off the pan, which is great. See it all sides as much as possible. Voila, look at that, 
just salt and pepper and you can eat that just like this wonderful nice just less than medium rare beautiful right I've just cut a little piece just season it with a bit of salt that. beautiful so that's just that fat from here so I'm going to give this a taste Bismillah wow all that juice is flowing wonderful here you go all the juices gonna add one onion gonna add tomato one two two tomatoes for some aromatics the cassia bark you can use cinnamon if you don't have uh, I've got about four cardamom pods and two Bangladeshi bay leaf, which is the Tespata. They go in for a bit of fragrance. Ginger, add a good, now this is about probably a one and a half teaspoon for you guys. Garlic, just put a little bit of oil there because if you don't, after you put it into a paste, if you don't put the oil, it just becomes green. So about one and a half teaspoons of garlic going in there. Now salt to taste. This is a very small spoon, which is about half a teaspoon. So I'm going to add one. So this is equivalent to just over one teaspoon of salt. There you go. A bit of water to create the stock. One. Two cups of water. That should do the business. That's boiling water. So it cooks faster. Now this is the ghee and the uh, beef fat. We're gonna keep this to cook that sauce. Give that a little mix. So I just want that garlic and ginger to be in the water rather than just sitting on the beef steak. Give it a little whirl. Put a lid on. There you go. That's locked in. Turn the gas on, bismillah. High heat, and then we're going to cook it on a low heat for the remainder. So look, cook it on a high heat until the first whistle, and then on a low heat. I'm going to cook it for try cook it for about half an hour up to about three whistles. Right, all you amazing home chefs, this has been cooking. Uh, I cooked it ten minutes uh, on a high heat until some of that steam came out. Then I put it on a low heat and cooked it for a thir further thirty minutes. So it's been forty minutes cooking time. So now I'm just going to carefully remove it and let that steam just finish coming. Now the ghee and the beef fat and now I'm going to start cooking uh, the gravy. Right, when the ghee is heated up I'm just going to add some garlic. One. This is about probably about three teaspoons. I love a lot of garlic. Garlic is a fantastic flavour. Kasui dried methi, about half a teaspoon, good pinch, wonderful. Now there's a lot of salt on the stock so I don't need that much salt. So good pinch of salt got in. And salt to taste, we can add it a bit later if we wish. Beautiful. Turn the gas to a low. Now just take that rawness away from the garlic. Now I'm going to add some spices, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder now this is general curry powder so good one teaspoon now chili powder I don't want it to be too spicy but half a teaspoon coriander half a teaspoon cumin half a teaspoon and because it's meat add uh, just one third of a teaspoon of garam masala just for that fragrance wonderful now, I don't want the spices to burn ideally I'm gonna need to make that into a gravy so I'm gonna do just add a bit of water so the spices don't burn. Now let this cook away. Now let's check up on the pressure cooker. There you go. Once the steam's out, then we're going to try to open it. And while the steam is cut it, coming out, I'm just going to add a bit of tomato puree, about a good tablespoon. There you go. I'm cooking on a low gas and just let all that spice just boon her up. 
Now I love Kashmiri chili, I love it because of the colour and the flavour, so I'm going to add one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili. It's not too hot, but it's going to give it a lovely flavour. Wonderful. Just watch the colour, it's like paprika, but a bit spicier. Beautiful. So let this cook. Now the steam has come out. Literally falling off the bone. This is amazing. Look at that. Literally melt in your mouth, falling off the bone. Literally. That's how gorgeous this meat is. The cassia barks and the bay leaf and the test putter. I'm going to whiz this up. There you go, that's the base gravy ready. Could have used some of the stock for a bit of rice, but because I'm trying to watch the carbs, being very careful. There you go, I'm going to keep the rest for another dish. Taste for a bit of seasoning. Delicious. That's an amazing flavour. Wow. I just want this to thicken up. Amazing chefs. Look at that. Yeah. To die for, yeah. Bismillah. Mm. Delicious. Oh my goodness. Delicious. So now we put the beef back in. Bismillah. <clears throat> wow. There you go. All you amazing chefs. Just appreciate that. So. This is like melt in your mouth because it's being pressure cooked. Voila. This looks like a proper T-bone steak curry. Now let's turn the gas off and plate up. So here you go guys, so this is the gravy, you can cook some more curries with this. I'm going to have this like a bone broth type of soup. I've got some pickles, I might not need it. Some more vine tomatoes. And now to plate up. Coriander. Amazing. Because of the fat and the acidity of the jalapeno and I just love it. T-bone steak guys, if you've never seen it like this, eat your heart out. So if you're on a carnivore diet, try this. And I'm going to be having this. So no rice, no carbs. Just this on its own and a bit of soup to start off with. Beautiful. Now let's eat. So, moment of truth. Let's taste this amazing steak. There you go. Let's break into that. It's just coming off the bone. Melting your mouth like butter, literally. There you go. Look at that. Thick sauce, you don't need no peppercorn sauce, no mushroom sauce, none of that. Let's give this a try. Bismillah. Mm. Oh my goodness. Subhanallah. The fat from the meat, and when it's been pressure cooked, ginger and garlic salt a bit of that garam masala so a nice aroma this is something so different it's like a cross between like if you have a beef madras but not as hot because of that smooth sauce and the sauce is sticking to your uh, lips so it's because of that gelatinous that collagen sort of that fat from the meat that comes out and from the bones this is gorgeous wow look at that just ripping apart now I'm going to be cooking some of these dishes. If you like this recipe, make sure to like, share and subscribe. 
And if you want to see some more of these, I'm trying to go on a nice little low carb diet. So if you want to see more of these recipes, put it on the comment section and I'll do some like salmon, prawns, chicken, whatnot. And I can't wait. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Admire. Beautiful.